Sharyati, the king Sharyati had a very beautiful daughter called as daughter called as Sukanya. So once Sharyati and Sukanya, along with her whole army, they went to the house of Chavan Rishi. They went to Chavan Muni's ashram, Chavan Prash. Hmm? Chavan Prash's Chavan Muni. Hmm? He they went to Chavan Muni's ashram, and <coughs> after going there, there they were playing. That she was a young girl. She was playing with her friends, and Chavan Muni was doing doing his tapasya, sitting in a earthworms. There was a place where earthworms were there, and underneath the earthworms' house, Chavan Muni was doing tapasya, and his eyes were glowing. because of his power the eyes were glowing sukanya was very she was say what is that and she took a stick and she put hmm? and the blood started coming out from that uh, mud and then she became very afraid and as soon as that offense was done by sukanya all the entire army there as they it fell even the king herself himself and the other soldiers this fell completely sick and they understood that some offense has happened here so the, he inquired what has happened and then sukanya told that i have pierced the eyes of chavan muni and now chavan muni <coughs> was very angry very upset so what will this king do this king offered the daughter itself in service to this husband to this uh, chavan rishi as his wife now it was a unusual marriage chavan muni was very very old like a grandfather and this this girl was very very young very very young hmm? now a great personality like chavan muni was has the temperament of always wanting him himself to be the superior in a superior position such a person cannot submit to anyone there are people like that there are husbands like that they cannot submit to anyone and that is a problem with the wives what can i do with this person he is my husband but he is very dominating in nature what should i do with him now his wife sukanya could understand this attitude of him he now wife sukanya was understanding this attitude of the husband she he was old he was very old old people are sometimes very gets very easily angry about that is a chavan muni then husband so <clears throat> she treated him accordingly how did she treat sukanya treated her husband according to his temperament she understood that this is this is my husband's nature accordingly he started she started serving the husband and if any wife wants to be happy with her husband i am not saying this is prabhupada ji's words if any wife wants to be happy with her husband she must try to understands her husband's temperament first and then accordingly try to serve him this is a victory for a woman propaji writes today i am not speaking anything from any other place i am only exclusively speaking speaking from propaji's part but what to word <laughs> because of the sensitivity of the subject matter <clears throat> even the dealings if you see the even the dealings of lord krishna in the dealings of lord krishna his wives who were they they were they were they were daughters of so many great kings but they accepted a position of a maid servant and they pleased lord shri krishna so however a great a woman may be however great she may be but she must place herself before the husband in this way which way just like the maid servant just like the queens of krishna accepted krishna they became their maid servant similarly one has to become like that <clears throat> so <clears throat> prabhu ji is saying that then the life of such a woman will be successful now <clears throat> there was a, there was some there was some incident in the life of uh, chavan muni ashwini kumar the two ashwini kumars they came to see chavan muni and then chavan muni he looked at himself that i am a old man and my wife is very very young and see my situation i am ugly i am an ugly looking person and still my good wife is serving me that's okay but i also want to become young so he requested the two doctors the two physicians Oh Ashwini Kumar can you please can you please help me to become young and very handsome i said no problem absolutely no problem so they took him into a lake and the three of them they dipped together and when they came out they all looked the same Ashwini Kumar 
and Chavan Rishi, they looked very handsome, very beautiful, very awesome. And they brought Chavan Muni in front of Sukanya. And Sukanya was very difficult for her to identify who is my husband. So Sukanya surrendered to Ashwini Kumar said that I am a chaste, I am a chaste, I am a chaste woman. I don't want to accept any other person as my husband. A chaste woman will never accept any other man than her husband. Even if, there is, even if the other person is more qualified than her husband, she will never accept. The other person might have thousands of good qualities more than her husband, but she will never accept such a person. She will want her husband only. So she prayed to Ashwini Kumar that I am, I am not able to find out, but please you reveal it to me, where is my husband, so that I can serve him. So, Ashwini Kumar were very pleased with the chastity of Sukanya. And they handed over Chavan Muni to Sukanya. <clears throat> now, Sukanya, she very intelligently, she dealt with Chavan Muni's situation. And now, she had a very youthful husband. <clears throat> so, when a wife also becomes, when a husband is irritable sometimes, if the wife also becomes irritable, then their life at home is sure to get disturbed. It's not, it's not a, it becomes hellish life. All the time, both the husband and wife, they fight, 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 they fight and fight. Hmm? In the modern day, hmm, it is very difficult to find wives who are very submissive. Hmm? But here is a message that how to deal with husbands. How Sukanya deal with, deal with her husband, even though he was irritable and how, how she won, won, her, won his heart. Hmm? Now, <clears throat> this is a tactic by, a, by which a woman can conquer the heart of the husband. And uh, however irritable he may be, this is a formula given by uh, our Acharya in the Bhagavatam. For a woman, how can she please her husband? Hmm? Now, this should not be considered as that uh, something that woman is inferior. In the Western world, this is, is in the Western world, people think that this is a slave mentality for a wife. Hmm? But factually, it is not a slave mentality. <clears throat> it is a tactic which has been given. Whenever we work in some companies outside, what happens? We use different tactics to please our boss, right? We use different ways to please our boss, superiors. Hmm? Even the wife, even the, gir the girls or the women that are working in the offices, they do the same. They have to do different tactics to please the, please the boss, to stay in the company. Huh? So here is the same thing. The Acharya is saying, Prabhupada is saying that use the same tactic in the home also. Hmm? Certainly the husband should also be cooperative and they should be helping and understanding but if that is if, if, if husband is not in that consciousness but you got married you, are, you got married you are stuck up with someone then how to how to deal with the situation this is situation been given that use the tactic which Sukarna used hmm? talk sweet words and cook nicely <laughs> you can bring your husband in control <laughs> so in this case, we very clearly, clearly see that although Chavan Muni was not young, but an old person, he, he, he was supposed to be Sukanya's grandfather and was very irritable. But still Sukanya, very intelligently, she served the husband and she was able to uh, behave very nicely and she uh, won the heart, she was able to follow her dharma. <coughs> 